Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. See, I'm always kind of hopeful that we'll get like new energy in, you know, um, but right off the right out the gate your person's coming forward here um they're like no 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 new love no new love for the collective i'm still thinking about the collective that's what your person says all right um yeah they want to see the yeah no new love no no new options for the collective no we're gonna keep the, your your masculine really just they're pulling on your energy and i feel like they're keeping you stuck okay or they want to keep you stuck. I feel like, too, this person treated you like an option, possibly ghosted you, sacrificed you for a toxic partner, okay? Kept you sitting here for um, an undetermined amount of time. It could have been up to, like, eight years. Uh, Empty-handed, right? I feel like they thought that they were going to some place where the grass was greener because it looks to me like you were the only one at the time wearing a patch on your blanket, okay? And they may have thought that you didn't have enough to bring to the table. So they ghosted you. I feel like they ghosted you. They left you sitting here waiting to hear something from them, waiting for anything at all. And I feel like they were giving to someone else the whole time. They knew you were sitting there waiting. They knew. They kept you standing in the mud in a mental prison, okay? They knew what they were doing. You know, now this person's in a whole lot of regret, right? Yeah. Because now, see, they're getting burned by the devil. If you look at this real close, the devil is setting fire to their butt. And they're like, they're trying to maybe, they may want to negotiate getting out of that toxic situation with their toxic partner uh, because they're like, hey, can we talk about this? Because I'm getting, I'm really getting burned in this, you know, it's starting to not feel so good. Um, yeah, I feel like they know that. Yeah. And whoever they're with is like, yeah, no, you're going to stay right here. You're going to stay right here. They may be wondering what's wrong with this person because they're kind of on shutdown mode a little bit. I feel like this person is, they literally have to hide their tears because they know they turn their back on you. They kept you sitting here for far too long. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn. They could be dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, yeah, and this Queen of Swords energy, she's very intuitive. Like, she knows that this person, I feel like she knows they feel guilty about something, number one. Um, she may have caught this person crying. And I feel like she knows about you. Yeah, she knows your person wants to reunite. Yeah, she knows your person wants to come back to you. She may be even wanting to try to pressure this person into getting married. That's for some of you. Not all of you. Yeah, no, she knows this. It's, <laughs> yeah, she knows this person wants to come back to you. I feel like you're the empress here. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing. I just heard Virgo again being shouted out in my head. So you could be a Virgo. Um, yeah, she, this, yeah, the, and this karmic is watching the situation like a hawk. Okay, she is seriously monitoring, not just watching, you know, monitoring what uh, this person, everything that they do, where they're going, because that she knows, this karmic knows. Um, that this person wants to get back together with their empress. The one that they kept stuck in the mud here. The one that they kept in a mental prison. Wondering what, what in the world was going on, right? Yeah, yeah. They want to have a new beginning here. They just don't want to tell, they don't want to tell this queen of swords that. This queen of swords is very, I feel like she's very overbearing. Um, she's toxic. This is a toxic situation. 
And this, I feel like this masculine is afraid to confront this queen of swords. So, but this queen of swords already can feel it. So she's like, just tell me the truth. I want to hear it. I want to hear it out of your mouth that you actually want to get back together with your empress. Because she already knows. Yeah, your person, they, they can't stop thinking about you. You could be a cancer. They could be a cancer. I feel like you're moving on. You're moving on. You could even be getting new love here. And this person, your past person, is like a mess. They're an emotional mess over this. I f you could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like you're taking control of your own life. You're moving forward. You're about to get new love coming in. You're having a victory. You want somebody who um, wants to choose just you. You're not going to be part of a third party situation. And you're not going to be considered the other person. And you're not going to be treated like an option anymore. And so you're moving forward. You're moving on to somebody else. You know? And you're, this person, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, they're all up in their emotions here. They're trying to hide how they feel uh, because they don't want to have it out with this Queen of Swords. I feel like they're very intimidated by this Queen of Swords. Okay? Very intimidated. They may even be afraid to confront the, that Queen of Swords. They're being divinely led to do that feel like they're learning a lesson with this karmic. That's what the karmics are supposed to do. Is I feel like this karmic totally did their job here. They taught this person a lesson, but they stayed in your person stayed in this situation for too long. You know. But yeah, this they're in love with you and you're leaving the scene. You're in this earth angel energy right now, and your person is in the Ten of Wands energy right now. Very burdened. If they don't do something soon, they're going to have to collect all of these wands and carry the burdens of this for the rest of their days. Because you're not budging. You're not going to be talking to them. You're not going to be making the first approach. You know, you're very, very tapped into the divine. Um, you're mixing up a new soulmate connection here or new connections, partnerships. But you're not, uh, you're not, you're not making a peak. And you may never speak to this person again if they, if they don't come forward soon. Yeah. I feel like this person is just wishing for you. They could be telling somebody else about this. How do I get, yeah, how, how do I approach the collective? What do I do? The opinions that they have that after they talk to these people, I, you know, they could be seeing a, a counselor. Um, I, I'm feeling like it's more of a friend, maybe even coworkers, that kind of thing. They're telling them that you're their wish. And how do they approach you after all that they've done? And I feel like once they explain all that they've done, because, you know, they've got to get this burden off of, their, off of their chest somehow. So they talk to somebody else about it. And once they tell them why you're not talking to them and why you're in separation in the first place, they get a whole lot of opinion shot at them. Somebody in, your, in their community is standing up for you, asking them things like, how could you have treated the collective that way? How could you have done this, right? They already feel guilty. Like, maybe that's why they feel so guilty and ashamed here. Maybe that's why they're hiding their tears, is because people are telling them, they're telling them they were a fool. They're asking them, how could you have done that? You know, I feel like, uh, and then when they have to tell them, well, it's been years since we've spoken, people are like, what are you doing, man? You didn't even go to make it right? Yeah, so I feel like there's people out there that are defending you, whether they know you or not. 
they're defending you because in order for this person to get advice, they have to tell them how they got in the situation in the first place, you know? Yeah, and you're out here celebrating your life. You're, uh, you're reaching milestones here, collective, making bank. Empress in the minor arcana energy, empress energy. Um, you're, you're doing a lot of work. Whatever you do for work, too, there could be a lot of gossip about that. There could be a lot of gossip about how much money you make. So maybe keep that hidden, you know. Don't say a word about things right now. Because people are, not, they're not just watching you. They're studying you. They're monitoring you. You know. And I feel like there's somebody here that may even want revenge against you. So, yeah, I feel like somebody is praying for a second chance here. But the thing is, is... They're, they're not taking any action. They can't really make any kind of move until they confront this Queen of Swords. Yeah, they need to come out with it here. And you're moving forward. I feel like, yeah, you're moving forward. You're moving away from all this, you know, mysterious energy, right? Everything that's hidden needs to come out to the light. Otherwise, you're outie. This is a cycle that's closing up. And you're over it because you're so well balanced. This is a graduation card as well. You made it through uh, this journey. You've learned all of these lessons and passed all these tests and leveled up on this journey, right? This is where you graduate. This is the end of the cycle. And now, I mean, you're leaving. You could even be, um, some of you could be making a, a house move, a home move. You know, some of you could even already be pregnant. You know, there's a person here too, for some of you, not all of you, but there's someone here who could be hiding a pregnancy as well. But yeah, this masculine, they want to come forward and apologize. But I feel like it may be too late. You're already leaving the scene, collective. And you don't need anybody in this energy. And I feel like what you want is somebody who is, is not going to be afraid to commit, okay? Yeah, Pisces energy, a lot of heavy Pisces here. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could be a Leo. But this person sees things from a whole new perspective, but yeah, they feel stuck. They may be having an enlightenment, but they're still stuck. And as long as this person is stuck, in a karmic situation, you're going to be moving forward. Yep, you're going to be moving forward. I feel like there, this person is about to come forward, though, with some uh, communication. You're going to get some communication from this person because they don't want they don't want you to walk out of their life, right? But they <laughs> here's the thing, though they they took no action in this before so what do they expect you're not going to keep waiting and hoping for somebody who isn't giving you anything they're not giving you any sign of anything so yeah and now i mean they left you alone for far too long um you're just fine all on your own and you've healed you're over this person yeah, and you're their wish fulfillment. You're heading straight into a Ten of Cups situation. Yeah, man. I feel like you're their wish fulfillment, but all this person has in their life is a whole lot of chaos, fighting, drama, listening to the gossip about you. And you're leaving. You're like, uh-uh, I'm outie. I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go where I get my wish fulfilled, my wishes fulfilled, right? Yeah, this person, all they can do really is they're hanging out in a toxic situation where all they do is fight about you, okay? That's all they're doing is fighting about you. There's a lot of chaos, a lot of drama behind the scenes. Um, this person feels very stuck. They're kind of low-key afraid of this Queen of Swords energy. Um, they're... 
with the devil getting burned because their destiny is getting away. They left you alone for too long. And you don't need to you don't need this person anymore. You just don't. Some of you may not even feel the same way about about them. Some of you may not even be focused on love. You could be just focused on um your abundance, growing your stability, right? Earth angel energy, high priestess. Uh, you could, I feel like you're a divine feminine. An earth angel. Yeah, you're about to get, you're stepping into a wish fulfilled life. And I feel like you intuitively know that as well. And in the meantime, all your, until this person has the strength to confront this Queen of Swords, um, all they can do really is think about you, watch you, study you, ask other people for their opinions. All right? Yeah, you're moving on. Um, let's see what the Romance Angels have for you today. What can you show me for the collective? Messages for the collective, deception. Yeah, see, I feel like you waited for this person. You did. You waited for them. You could even have children with this person, um, or they could have kids with this Queen of Swords energy, but they were deceiving you. They were wearing a false mask. Okay, I feel like they put you in a third party. Um, they chose somebody toxic over you. They kept you stuck in your head because they deceived you, you know, and they never came to make it right. I feel like, uh, yeah, but soon, you know, very soon, it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I feel like you're manifesting new love here. You, you want the kind of love that's actually worth waiting for. This person over here, that I feel like they gave you nothing um, but a, a mental, like mental trickery, okay? Unrequi unrequited love. Yeah, now you don't feel the same way about them anymore. You don't. So I feel like you're freeing yourself from this, from this situation. You'll forgive them, but it's something that uh, they've done things to you that you can't forget. And I feel like you just don't feel the same way anymore. Now they're turning around and they want to get on their knees for you here. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like the situation's over. Hold on just a second, you guys. Sorry about that. Somebody was calling me. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like very soon you're about to get a new love. You're manifesting it. You know what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want now. This this you learned on this journey, okay? Um, a lot of lessons. You went through a lot of lessons and passed a lot of tests. So, yeah, you know what you, know what you need. You know what you deserve. All right, so what else can you show me here for the collective? messages for the collective all of a sudden I'm like feeling really tired you know so you guys could just feel like really exhausted by this you may need to get your rest what can you show me for the collective express your love yeah you know what wait when you're ready and you meet the right person yeah you're gonna be able to express your love you're going to be able to work on a, a new relationship. But I feel like that's, um, you're moving forward. And I feel like you've got this, um, you've kind of got this feeling like, well, it, I'm going to just keep focusing on me because I'm rocking it out right now. And if the divine brings me new love, then that's great. You know, you're not chasing after anybody um, you're not, you know, you're just really just focused on you in your North node, right? Moving forward. But you know, you have faith that the divine is bringing you to your wish fulfillment, which they are. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you're ready for love 
and I feel like new love is coming in for you collective and here is where you're releasing the past person because you know what they just they're not doing anything about their situation you know they're not taking any action you're not seeing anything from them so yeah this is where this connection this um, cycle ends you know